Hello guys, David here, welcome back to Satellite Rain. We are looking at Usicorp. They got some light infantry here. Um, these guys um, are patrolling the area. Um, they're low level security, better armored than comparable forces, aren't more trained, but aren't any more trained or valued by the employers, okay. But they seem to have a few groups of patrols here. I'm thinking that we could maybe take these guys out. Maybe. Maybe not. So, these guys patrol. They go in there. The camera is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna... Hack this and leg it. If we can just get into cover. Go. Oh. It's gonna be a little bit of time, but that's fine. Out is gonna be a bit more tricky. Let's uh, switch to silenced and take out that camera. And break that one real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, go loud. Go, go, go. No weapons out. Just keep going. We just go silently away. Actually, not so silently away. Let's go across here. And up there. Ooh, no, 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 no. We need to hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Because he is still uh, alerted. Can I go cloaked? Should help me. There we go. We're good. We're good. Excellent. Now I'll take a look at the uh, this one here. Good news. We got a hold of a Fred processor. Fast response emergency drop. Heard of it? If we can get it up and running, our tech heads in the lab can use re uh, can repurpose city drones and use them to drop off our agents anywhere we want in the city, even in the middle of a firefight. New flash-grown clones drop right off uh, off right where we need them. It'll be great. Uh, it'll call, I'll call around the middlemen and scrap sellers I know and see if our tech heads can get a portable drop accuracy transponder up and running. The other thing we really need is, um, to get uh, the Fred's flying is an existing triangulation system. We're going to have to piggyback off of the city's drone communication channel to get the system operational. This will make sure our hijacked city maintenance drones fire off the drop pods to the right place. It'll take some work, but it could be really worth it in the long run. Um, okay, so we need to hack some terminals. Oh, there's one there. Oh, in Dracogenics? Seriously? Oh, we've marked up the ATMs now. Nice! Um, let's uh, go there and uh, do some ATM hacking. I'm not gonna go into Dracogenics, the big place, I think. I think, maybe? Maybe. Also, you there, you are leveled up. What did you get? Yeah, we're gonna need to get that one up. 
This one, the high vents. Oh yeah, that would be really nice. <laughs> Not that we really needed to go there. It's a shortcut though. Let's get a siphon on this one. How much do we earn now? One. That would be another... 1.3. Hmm. Um, Map-wise, where's the next one? There's one just up here. Requires low levels, so we can do that. But let's start with this terminal. Uh, let's go back there. It's this one. It's really easy to just poke through this here uh, security door. But we're gonna need a lot better gear if we're gonna be able to do any more serious stuff here. Let's scan for this one. That's one down to the go. Let's uh, keep going. And there is an ATM up here. How did I miss that one? Oh, it's a higher security one. So let's go there. Not only higher security, but more security in general. Let's not run. Got everyone. One, two, three, four. Yep. More guards as well. Hmm. Yeah, just keep going. Nope, we're not going to do this one right now. That would be dumb, to say the least. Let's go to this one. All the way down there? Seriously. I guess the infiltrator could get there, but... Might need a hack or two, so... Let's uh, look at the map. We have an ATM up here. And there is a... How do we get there? Oh, that should be easy. Thomson Towers. Okay. Mr. Tea Times. Or Miss Tea Times. Sorcery. Okay. Are they turning around the corner this way? We were spotted. Not good. Come on. Good. Let's head up to this one. Oh, this requires uh, level 4. We don't have that. Yet. We only have 2. Uh, that requires quite a lot. Let's go in there. I really want to get that drone triangulation going, but going into that big area... Mm, it could be very loud. Oh, I need a hacker. Oh, of course. Nice job, just one left. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. It's official, I'm eternal recruiter. Scrapped, uh, scraped through with a 78, but a pass is still a pass. I've been assigned to the downtown slums, my old stomping ground. Uh, my 
may even try to re uh, recruit my own crew, my old crew. The old discon boys won't even recognize me now. My new orgs are like nothing I've ever seen. No doubt they will be resistant, but we go way back. I'm sure they'll listen. That was day zero. Day five? Those pieces of shit don't get how screwed their lives are. I hoped I could get through to them. They know me. I know how they roll. Now they look at me like I'm the enemy. Me, the enemy. Their puny brains don't get the big picture, the real reason for everything. Things have changed since I left downtown. The place feels different. The streets are deserted, not bustling with dealers and users. 23. Dropped past my old stomping ground, the place was deserted. Word is disconnected, have gone dark, which is weird. Oh well, Jones said I've uh, got management potential today. Man, how sweet would a promotion to Acolyte level be? Me, mixing it with middle management. Okay. This is close to the border, so it's uh, a little bit higher money people that live up here, I think. More higher money, but richer people. Okay, so what do we have here? The barracks. The north end of the compound houses new recruits. There is not much to it, because Dracogenics cares about these folks about as much as you'd assume they do. They're a mess hall and a range, but not much else. That said, at the back of the barracks is the compound's coordination center. Get your agents into the facility. I'm sure you'll find some decent loot uh, the rookies are have left lying around. Let's check the info. The easiest way to get extra info out of some of the rookies is to remember where we are, the downtown district. We should be able to arrange a little honeypot action and get a couple secrets out of some new recruits hitting the town to get plastered. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, let's check this one. Uh, Alright, we got an informant who works at the Dirty Zen Club, which is pretty popular spot among the Dracogenics new recruits. Uh, Dirty Zen is the number one sin seller in the city, and some folks says it's the beating black and... Yep, I've seen that. Meek Eric Bash out front. Uh, there. And uh, just one moment, guys. Right, so... Um... We were going to find Eric. I still want to get that ATM here. We'll pick that up on the way. But there are guards all over the place. Oh. Nope, we're not going to get that one done. Well, let's go to this guy and find the informant. That the guy? <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, bribe that guy. It's not a lot of money, so. Informant paid. Science. Oh, sounds like we got lucky. Some cashed up lad took Bash back to the barracks just night, last night, and he managed to swipe the poor bastard's clearance data. Ah, uh, human nature. The knucklehead fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. We got the north entrance access code so we can get right through that gate now without any problem. He also got a look at the inside of the coordination center and while he didn't have details he saw he said he saw some pretty decent hardware so we got a confirmation there. Right so now we have the north entrance that should be this one. But he should be shooting rangers something so yeah. Let's look at the military armory can we get to that? Huh. The compound's real treasure, their armory. It's the heart of the facility and they treat it that way. It's got lots of guards, but lots of goodies inside. Um, the front door hasn't even got an external access port. Breaking in won't be easy, but trust me, it will be worth it. Um, the broker wants cash. Um, we're gonna wait on that one. The supply depot, though. 
The supply docks are down south, and it's a major uh, receiving point for a lot of the mill spec gear. The loading station should basically be one big equipment locker full of sweet, sweet loot. Let's see if anyone knows an easy way in. Um, seems to be a sanitation worker who was willing to talk. Our way into the docks might be easy peasy, just cost us a few creds. There is a building sanitation worker by the name Dave Birch, who's willing to give us access codes to the rear entrance of a dockside building. Uh, the western one. Is this here, then? He's asking for a lot. Um, we could probably talk him down if you want to, but it might get take getting it might take getting rough okay your budget you're called hmm mega co so cheap so filling so cheesy our targets either broke starving or both but whatever the mega co pizza parlor is where our informant says he'll be he's gonna be up there <laughs> mega co will kill you same as any other fast food joint, but it's so worth it. Other mega cost subsidiaries did in the rainforest and stuff, but seriously, it's great pizza. Best in the district. Easily. Okay, we're gonna go to this place here. Um, oh, hello. Um, and find him in the area. I have a feeling that's the guy. I don't want to pay 1500 That money has gone through. These codes match the specs for what we'd expect, so at least it didn't totally make them up. This should open that southern door. So now we have actual access to both this southern door. We'll go take a look at it. This one here. It's green now. That should give us some sneaky sneaky access down to this area. Um, right? And we also have the northern door. Here. Let's uh, take a look at that one. Um, how are we for the research? Yeah. The northern door seems to have like very little security. There is a guard walking there. So firing range is there. Let's go. Um, 120 seconds of no cameras. So let's get into cover over here. Oh shoot, we can't get through there. Okay, that's gonna complicate things. Uh, so I need to go around behind these guys to get through. And this area here seems to be... So I can go there and get back to this area. I want to zoom. Behind the shooting range. Hmm. This is tricky. Yep, go. Cool. 
Okay, we're hidden. Let's go behind here. Don't think that patrol will go up here. Okay, so these can let me supply ammo if things go hot. Let's hope not. Let's go down here. Do we have any cameras? Yes. One camera there and one camera down there. Can we get around here somehow? This is where their reinforcement would come out. We're gonna sneak. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. This is going to be loud very soon. them okay that was a bit loud we could turn off these cameras hundred and twenty seconds let's get the hacker up This area seems completely empty. Hurry down. We need to get down here. Oh. We're busting into the barracks. Huh. Okay. Okay, now we have a prototype. Do we want to get out or continue? Uh, we want to get out. Okay. So the barracks was an easy take. We need to get the prototype out. Um, but it would be nice to get. Security was kind of low, though. Who leveled up? You leveled up. Oh, nice. Um, uh, harden. Getting a grenade is nice. This is hard. Pack mule. Explosive specialists. He's a soldier. It's nice to have a grenade to throw at enemies. Um, <laughs> with special training to handle the most dangerous materials, the soldier's explosives will be packed with more explodiness and also be able to carry more explosives without fear of accidentally dropping one and <laughs> blowing everyone up. Yeah. Uh, it's that or harden. Let's go explosives.
Right, so when these guys are research completed on black market available. Oh! I can buy stuff. No augmentations, no weapons, but we can get light body armor. Nice. Very nice. We could use that. Now, these, if I knew how to destroy them, that would be awesome. Um, it would be nice to be able to do that. But I think we're up to the end of this episode, actually. So I'm going to round this episode off here. And in the next one, we'll get out of here and uh, we'll take a look at the new prototype that we picked up. R&D is done, by the way. Right, so I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.